Hello teachers, welcome. In this video it's about uh, introduction to geometry tools from Desmos calculator. So I think it's a tutorial number two because the basics we have done uh, last week. So just type desmos.com and uh, click on math tools which are available. Math tools, click geometry tool. Uh, you can use a geometry tool in your activities as well. If you are signed in, your work will be saved, of course. If you click on the setting buttons, you can make a projector mode or show grid. Um, using show grid this time and I can save my work. Let's say it's basics. So you just click on the untitled and type your uh, title. So there are tools of course we can make use of them transformations I'll try to focus on transformations more but just to let you know about the basics again so let me click a circle so put a center and click somewhere on the grid to fix a radius we have got a circle every time please go to select button because it otherwise the command will be still active so just to avoid that command go to select you can change color of any object, select it and the dialog box will open on the left. You can click on a point, you can lock it and you can label it. You may rename it, no problem. Let's say you want a particular name, that's fine. Click on the point, label or lock. So these options are available for you. Immediately, whenever you click on a point, uh, these options will appear on the left. Let's take some points on the circle. Uh, let's say we are going to demonstrate a circle theorem. Now let's connect with these segments and change color if you want. I'm using black and labeling ABC. Click on a point, change the color and label. Yes, it's all black now, these three points. And let me take some segments because I will connect the sides, uh, the points B with O and A with O. So B to O. There are tools on the left, so I chose a segment. So B to C as well, and then C to A as well. Now, using the angle tool, we can demonstrate the angle at the center is the half of angle at the circumference and to 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 create an angle you know you have to select three points so the same way we did b o a and b c a you can drag point c to demonstrate the angle is actually half of the angle at the center and if you don't want to drag it it's fine you can fix them lock them uh, basically in activities you can do it but just I'm using this for demonstration so I'm not fixing it so uh, there are lots of things you can do cyclic quadrilateral properties or circle theorems we can also use the tangent to circle uh, because we can use a perpendicular line for that purpose so I'm taking a point and we can connect with the segment so that we can make a perpendicular line to that segment so I'm connecting O to this point so that I can get a radius and now I'm gonna use a more tools perpendicular line choose a line to set up a slope so click on a line and then select a point through which your perpendicular line should pass click on angle just to show if you want to show the 90 degree angle because it's perpendicular yeah click anywhere on the line because it will still 90 degree go to select because you want to drag it so you can demonstrate wherever you go the tangent is 90 degree uh, making a 90 degree angle with the radius line you can also make a triangle from O to that point just to show like let's say a perpendicular length is the shortest click on the length and label it you can also label its length that's also possible so whatever you want it's up to you you can show lengths angles 
trigonometry anything let's say label it with the length 5.05 .05. you can also use some x let's say x equals to that or maybe you can give an alphabet like length o a length o b something so my radius is 3.16 and the length of that segment was 5.05 .05. and you can demonstrate the perpendicular length is the smallest or the shortest so lots of things i'm just not explaining math concepts here i'm just saying uh, use this tool to demonstrate these concepts so that students can see and students can use it yeah so lots of things you can do please try and now we can discuss some uh, transformations you can hide unhide at any time there's no problem so please try so let's try now uh, transformation I am just using another box yeah so that I can start from the beginning so another math tool geometry tool transformations you know there are lots of transformations you can make reflection dilation etc so I'm showing a grid first of all click a circle and let's say we have a circle now uh, the first of all I want to do a dilation because it will create uh, more circles with the same center so I'm, go I'm going to create concentric circles so dilation choose a center point the point can be anywhere I'm choosing a center then you enter the scale factor let's say 0 0.8 0 0.5 2 1 3 etc then select the object where you want to apply this select the circle the apply button will become green you just need to click it the next circle is automatically selected so if you keep on clicking apply it will continue applying dilation by 0 0.8 you go back to construction because you can move those points and you can also change the scale factor at any time there's no problem you can change the color let's say click on the outer circle and change the color maybe you can you want to change some more circles yeah so color can be changed points can be locked at any time there's no problem so transformations so we did the dilation so we can also rotate we can also translate let's try reflection now you know for reflection you need a line uh, because line li like a line mirror so I'm creating a line segment yes I have a line now because if I go to transformation now reflection is active so reflection choose a line of reflection clicked yeah select the object so I'm going to use one circle not everything and I can apply that so click the circle is reflected on that line you may drag that line just to show your students how the position of that circle will remain same let's create a triangle also triangle just anywhere on the grid so I chose the polygon option created a triangle reflection same thing so first of all you need to select the line and then the object click on the object and click apply for that particular transformation so it, it's been reflected now you may see if you drag any point the shape is changing on both sides so similar triangles or other things there are lots of properties you know better than me as a mathematicians so please use these things let's try dilation now I'm using a 0 0.8 factor and if I dilate the triangle uh, you can also change color yes change the color so that you can see more uh, colorful objects yeah click on apply look the smaller and smaller triangles are created I know it's not very clear but yeah if you try you will get it see uh, the gradient formation is there because of changing color look if you change the scale factor 1 because the triangle will overlap so it's a great tip to make the color dark now if you change 0 0.95 you see uh, the color is actually 
dark and uh, you can move triangle to see where are those triangles because we have clicked many times so there are 19 objects over which dilation has been applied rotation you can use rotation choose a point uh, let's try on a new page yeah of course we can do here but uh, if you go to the next page or just go to those three lines and create new collection construct I'm gonna click on show grid first so let's create a polygon again because I want to rotate rotate about a point so yeah triangle is there you want to change the color I like orange so I'll choose orange color go to transformation now you go to rotation or dilation yeah dilation let's try dilation first so scale factor is one so you can change scale factor to one to make it dark select the object click so click many times so that the color become dark because the triangles are overlapping and now you can use another transformations let's say rotation so choose a point for the center you can choose any point see I will click the point and then choose the angle let's take uh, 60 degree yeah these angles are in degree select the object click apply look your mm, rotation is there so if I click let's say six times I will get my triangle back and if I change the point look so students can use this fact as creating designs creating some animations there are lots of things they can do look because the center point was movable so I'm moving that point on different positions just to show like the same triangle has been reflected six times by 60 degree and you can change the angle at any time there is no problem let's try one more um, so that uh, we can finish this geometrical tool tutorials I'm going to create a segment because I want to create a hexagon using the rotation command so I'm taking one segment only one segment and with this segment I will rotate this line many times such that I will get a hexagon or octagon or something so rotation choose a center point choose the angle so let's take 60 degree click select the object apply applied yeah another time yeah so as many times you click it will be rotated so we have got I uh, six uh, six sides these are actually like the uh, internal part you can also select points to reflect sorry rotate connect those end points so that you can get the boundary of hexagon you may change the color if you want so I'll go and change the color first and then I will rotate rotate by 60 degree see the object uh, is already selected so you don't need to select again and again you can change the shape and size yes and you can also change the rotation angle it will be applied to all those things you may show some angles let's say interior angle 60 degree and you can also rotate the angles select the angle go to transformation rotation same angle 60 60 60 60 so it completes 360 so that's how you can demonstrate change just just play with it enjoy if I change the angle see what happens all the transformations will change not only one everything will change by 30 let's say by 40 by 50 so you just change the angle and see the magic see for 90 degree it should be a square look so you can use any angle uh, for rotation yeah so I believe uh, you have got good idea about geometry tool so please try and uh, let me know uh, what particular things you were looking for so I think basics we have done in tutorial one this was only for transformations so I hope you have got the 
idea now what to do let's try the last time so I'm changing the angle by 20 degree and look if I rotate everything by 20 degree uh, a new polygon will form you can also create click on points to rotate see so yeah I think that's more than enough what you are looking for plus uh, you should just try this thank you so much